my name is Jen Underwood. I'm a Senior Technical Product Manager. Today we're going to walk through Excel 2013 Power View. To get started, simply select Insert on the Excel menu and choose Power View Report Type. Available fields to report upon will be shown in the Power View Fields window. These fields are populated from Excel's worksheets or an underlying analysis services data model. To create a report, you simply click on the fields or drag and drop them onto the report sheet. Power View always starts with a table and then you can apply the desired data visualization. You can also define ad hoc drill paths. In this case, I have chosen to drill down from plan type to plan name. I also have the ability to do sorting. In this case, I want to sort by revenue descending to see the most revenue at the top. In PowerView 2013, we've added a few different data visualizations. One of them is geospatial mapping, and the other one is pie charts. To create a pie chart, simply look under Other Chart Types and select Pie. In this case here, we can also add an ad hoc drill path. I'm going to drill down to device name. Probably the most popular data visualization type is scatter charts. To create a scatter chart, it's in the other chart types. You select three different measures and a dimension. And then you apply time period to a play axis. Another great feature within PowerView 2013 is the ability to add images, background images, branding, and theming. PowerView is contextually sensitive, meaning that as I click different items, it will automatically filter the rest of the items on the report without any programming. The scatter charts have the ability to play data over time periods. I can track the various changes over time by simply clicking on the items. Another great feature of PowerView is the ability to do interactive what-if type analysis with filters. In this case I'm going to take a look at credit score and gender and experiment with changing those variables to see how that impacts the data in my report. 